Hello, I'm Corinne Milne, Boutique Manager of Dark Garden's San Francisco Flagship Store, and today I will be walking you through how to lace yourself into a corset. Self-lacing is a unique and important skill to have, as not all of us have the luxury of having somebody else around to lace this up. Start with loosening your laces and placing the corset on your body. Make sure the laces are loosened equally. It is very hard to put on a pre-tightened corset and your comfort in the corset comes from allowing yourself gradual compression and adjustability. Placing the back panel can be a chore and there are a few different ways of doing this. I'm going to show you just one. Pinch the back panel between the laces with your fingers with the bottom of the corset furthest from you. Then you reach the corset around your body, placing the back panel on your spine as you lean slightly forward. This part can often give people grief, so just remember that the busk is all one piece. So think of it like a zipper rather than individual buttons, one fluid motion. When closing the busk, it is important to give yourself a good pivot point. I tend to hook mine second from the top, however you may find it easier to start second from the bottom. Grab the bottom of the corset or the top, curve the busk inwards towards your body, and then pivot to line up the hooks with the buttons. Slowly curve the busk up or down and join the hooks. If you need to redo a few, don't worry. You can press your thumb along the busk and gently coax the busk to hook together. You can also unhook and rehook as needed from either end. Now it's time to think about tightening your laces. First, make sure the corset is in the right place. Slide your hands down your sides and feel for the most narrow point. Give a little squish and you should be squeezing your true waist. If you feel your ribs or your hips, adjust the corset up or down as needed. Start by pulling the center loops. These are located at the waist of the corset, its smallest point. Pull these two loops straight out to the side until the corset is snug. There will be excess laces at the top and bottom of the corset, but that's okay, we're going to fix that next. We start by tightening the rib of the corset first, usually two to three X's of ribbon from the top. Starting from the top will anchor the corset on your ribs, preventing it from riding up the body as you lace the bottom half. You can use your fingers to count each grommet, or you can use a mirror, making sure the polar ribbons that are coming out of the grommet rather than those that are coming from underneath. You can use both hands to pull the individual ribbons to the side, or a single hand to pull slightly down. Proceed down in a ladder-like fashion, pinching the next set of ribbons with the second hand while the first hand holds the tension from the previous X until you hit the center back where you will then pull the excess ribbon through. Remember, the bottom ribbon tightens the top of the corset and vice versa. You will repeat this process, moving the excess ribbon X by X from the bottom half of the corset to the middle, starting from the hem and moving upwards. If you're like me and perhaps need a little more support in the lower tummy, it is at this point you can adjust where your flesh sits. Slide a hand down the front inside of the corset while the other hand holds on to the bottom so it doesn't shift. Gently coax your tummy flesh up with your fingers and then engage your lower abdominal muscles until you have finished lacing. If you're wearing an overbust corset and have breast flesh that needs to be adjusted, this is when you would do that. I recommend taking one hand, crossing it over in front of you so that your left hand is adjusting the right breast and vice versa, and then gently cup it between the corset and your body, just under the armpit. Slide your flesh forward and into the breast curve of the corset and repeat on the other side. This can help to reduce the skin from hanging over the top of the corset at the back. Once your tummy and breast are supported, go ahead and repeat the tightening process until the corset is at your desired snugness. If you notice that you feel pressure on your lower ribs, your corset may have started to ride up. This is easily adjusted, just grasp the bottom of the corset and pull down firmly, but not aggressively, and lean slightly back. This will slide the corset down under the curve of your rib. You should feel supported and lifted. We finished by tying a bow with our laces. This can take some practice, but don't give up. Cross your laces over each other and do one final tug to make sure your corset is at its proper snugness for you. Tie a bow just as you would with your shoelaces. I tend to use my ring finger to actually hold the knot in place as I tie the bow. It helps just like when you have someone put their finger on the string as you tie up a present. Pull your loops until they are longer than the bottom of the corset, but not longer than the ends of your laces. This is for two reasons. One, so you can gracefully tuck your laces under the bottom of the corset. 
and two so you can get out of the corset easier later on. At the end of the day, when you're ready to unlace yourself, please do not start at the busk. It is nearly impossible and you will likely break it if you try to open it that way. Loosen up your corset first. Reach a hand back and grasp the bow at the base. Use your other hand to slide down the laces, easing them out from under the bottom of the corset, and then slide your hand down until you feel just the two long ends. Pull. This will undo the bow, and now you can continue pulling the ribbon from the center, gently working up and down the corset until it is loose enough to take off. Now this is when people can encounter one of the most irritating and common issues. One busk hook just will refuse to undo, usually around the middle of the corset. Don't panic, this is easily fixed. You can either loosen more or rehook the corset at a point furthest away, either top or bottom, from the stuck point. This will release the pressure there. Now try unhooking it again from the end you did not just rehook. Ta-da! That's it. Remember to give yourself extra time when lacing in. Trying to do this when you are rushed or stressed will rarely end well. And please always listen to your body. If at any point you feel discomfort or lightheadedness, just loosen the corset. And that's it. We've laced ourselves in and out of corset without anyone's help. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. And please know we are always happy to walk you through the process, either over the phone, via virtual or video chat, or in person. All of our staff are well-versed in the process. You can also find a concise written version in the comment section below or on our website. And please subscribe to our social media channels and give us a like. From all of us here at The Garden, happy lacing.